So I thought I'd do this quick video on the Renault Kangoo door mirrors. This is a 2014 van and I needed to buy a new mirror. So uh, the I, I smacked the mirror on a hedgerow and it broke the glass and it also broke some plastic inside. So I had a look online, you can buy new mirror uh, glass sections for 10 to 15 quid. Or you could buy a new aftermarket mirror for only £39 plus VAT, whereas this Renault part is £150 plus VAT. So the new one's turned up. Looking on the outside, absolutely identical. It looks just as good as the original. You really wouldn't tell. It almost looks like they've come out of the same factory, to be honest. However, there is one big difference. The mounting lugs. So these mirrors held on with two of these screws are quite substantial screws go into these mounting lugs here and here the original Renault part nice sturdy solid plastic whereas the replica part as you can see the mounting lugs are really slim very little plastic round here I don't know why manufacturers do this and shave off millimeters of plastic here it wouldn't make any difference to the price when you're making a whole mirror assembly like that but it means this is the weak point. And as you've guessed, I was mounting this mirror. Let me just get the bit of broken plastic. Here it is. And immediately the lug snapped. And I hadn't even got the screw tight. The screw was only about halfway down uh, here that it should be. They still had lots of play and straight away that snapped. So the whole mirror assembly complete piece of junk which is a shame because the rest of it looks pretty good so I've gone and paid 40 quid for mirror assembly and all I've got out of it is a piece of glass so I paid four times more than what I needed to originally I thought I'd spend the extra and buy the whole mirror just in case uh, if you're just buying the glass I wasn't 100% sure whether it would actually snap in properly to the original Renault motor and I thought well 15 quid for a bit of glass 40 quid for whole mirror let's just buy the whole new mirror and then I don't have to mess around with gluing plastic inside but uh, as I've said complete waste of time cheap rubbish so all I've got out of it is a piece of glass I've repaired this mirror and I'm fitting the original Renault mirror back on so let me just show you the what it was this one is the abacus mirror it's a heated mirror as well. I got it from Autodoc. It was £39 plus VAT plus delivery. The part number is 3167M07. So I suppose, as always, I should have learnt by now, you get what you pay for, but I've bought aftermarket mirrors before. I actually bought one a couple of weeks ago for my van and it was fine. Very little difference to the original OEM. And again, on this one, if you're looking from the other side, or even looking from this side, looking what you actually see, absolutely no difference it is a little bit lighter but you'd expect that but yeah all seems fine it's just the mounting points are just ridiculously weak and obviously that's the most important part um you know there's no point uh, having a mirror that you can't even screw on in the first place so that lasted me 30 seconds <laughs> that's all it took to fit it i'll just show you while we're here it's very easy to fit these mirrors you pull that bit of trim off it's just held with two clips and then you've got your two screws hold the mirror in you unpull the plug it is just literally it's a minute job to replace a mirror if your mirror doesn't break on you so hope that helps someone in the future i always like to do videos on products i like and also products that i don't like so maybe it will help someone because um, if you're like me you always do a bit of research before you buy a product um, and there was nothing out there on these, so um, hope that helps someone in the future.